Hi, Jack. How you doing, buddy? All stretched out there he is. Butt end in that hammock area. Head up this area. Actually, what I'm going to be doing today, hopefully, because I'll get this Mr. Boo out um, at some stage, I'm going to spread this hammock out a little bit further over just so that he's you know he's gotten a bit bigger now and I'm feeling that he's not feeling very comfortable to actually go in there and curl up anymore but also the weather's much warmer he's of course up under his heat which should not be on well it isn't on actually um, because as you can see it's 30 in his enclosure at the moment um, I'd like him to come on out but I don't actually think that he will but what this video is about today is because I've been asked by I won't say a lot of people but you know many have asked me about um, their ball pythons and creating an environment for them to get exercise and crawl around and so forth so um, I want to explain something straight up to everyone. Hey dude, how you doing? Would you like to come on out for a little while today? Lily's out and I know it's not breeding season so probably not overly concerned when it comes to Lily are you at this particular point but you still do like each other's company don't you? Hey? But, you know, he's welcome to come on out if he wants to. Um, curiosity may get the better of him. I don't know. Uh, Lily is up there in her usual beautiful place that she loves to come out and go to sleep for the day. But you quite like being in your enclosure, don't you? Hey, you're blurry. There you go. That's better. Do you want to come out? Come out and see me at all? Hey. He says, I was out the other day, Mum. Like, come on. And, I, and he was, but I had to get him out. He didn't quite freely come on out, but that's um, Jack. Are you going to come out? You can come out with me? Hey? Will you come out with mum? Come out and say hello. Come out and say hello. Okay. Let's get back to the subject. Right now, as you can see, this is looking a little bit wonky. Um, not very often my guys climb on this anymore, or my big snakes do anyway. My little snakes, such as a Maya, a Pani, Maya, still, and even Sia, who's not a heavy snake, still gets quite a bit of use out of this. And I do have to fix it, and I keep saying that. It's down in my bathroom a lot of the time at, at this point, because Lily, I tend to put her on it when she comes down there with me so she's up off the ground but she doesn't stay there for very long she wanders on down and off she goes but explaining the difference between my carpet pythons and a ball python first of all carpet pythons have this amazing prehensile tail don't you Jack this thing down here this incredible thing that he has which grips on to everything and anything and that helps support them. A ball python of course as you know has a much stubbier body and a much stubbier little tail that they can't they can't grip things with it so much. Wish this camera would not blur so much on me all of the time but that doesn't mean that you can't create something 
for your ball python um, and not give them some exercise time to build up good muscles and healthy strong snakes is what ultimately you will get now this particular thing is probably three feet off the ground so for me if it were a ball python I just halve it you know half the size of it because the less space there is between the height of the thing that you build to the floor for them makes them feel a whole lot safer. Now basically it's just two crossbars of wood that have been screwed together and it, you can do it so that it's not collapsible or whatever and this isn't anymore but it, it was because it was for dirt, a dirty clothes basket I just took the cloth bag out and thought I can do something with this and I found it at a second hand shop um, for a couple of dollars so you know you could even chop and halve this then I just went to the hardware store and I bought broom handles and just I think they were two dollars each and I cut them down and that gives them you know something to actually support themselves on um, all I have done is I have used cable ties to connect them securely um, to um, each other although this is quite loose now because it's all kind of moved with my big fat well not fat but weighty snakes such as Jack climbing all over it um, I've also you know used some artificial vine to just give them a little bit of extra and I'll, I'll try swinging it around so you get a fairly good view um, you know I've just run it all the way down here and this is really good for my little snakes such as my spotted pythons and even Amaya still um, will utilize all of that and she has some in her enclosure as well but everything has been tied down with with cable ties just make sure you cut off what is poking out so that it's nice and flat and not got any sharp stick out things that they could damage themselves on. I've left of course these ones on and as you can see they're, they're soft and they're not going to hurt um, your snake at all and also whatever you screw with make sure that there is no screw poking out the other side of the wood either that they can cut themselves on that's very important I also just bought artificial vines which I've utilized a lot within the enclosures and of course in the climb out area and you know this height this particular area is great for carpet pythons they love to get up high they love to get as high as they possibly can but your ball python isn't going to be so much that way inclined some might surprise you but I would say that majority won't surprise you and and want to go that high they want to know that they're safe and the ground is pretty close to them so like I said halve it you know I've added this little hammock here that my little snakes will actually go in and curl up and have a nap um, all I've done is I've used string it already came with these little ties on them or whatever these screw things are and I've just connected it and they love to go in there so you know string 
broom handles, artificial vines. You don't even need to put the artificial vines on there. I just feel for some snakes, they like a little bit more coverage than others to feel safe um, while they're out exploring or getting used to it anyway. A little hammock, you could use anything for them um, and hang it there and put it lower to the ground. You know that hammock can be touching the floor. The fact is that if they go through it and come out the other side and climb out of it, they're still getting exercise. And when they get a little bit tired, it's a little space for them to go and crawl into and have a little bit of a rest and feel completely safe as well. So very simple. It's just adapted to what species of snake that you actually have. You know, I've seen boas that people say, you know, they're heavy bodied and they're all the rest of it that don't climb, that will spend their life getting up there and laying up there. So can I say 100% your ball python isn't going to do it? No, I can't. But more than likely start with this first. If you see that they're climbing it quite well, do another one. You're always going to have a littler ball python and a bigger ball python. And I think the smaller they are, the more inclined they will be to climb. They've not got so much weight and all the rest of it on them. A bigger ball python might be a little bit more judgmental about that's a bit high for me, okay? So not very expensive to make at all your most expense is probably the artificial vine which you don't even need to use if you don't want to um, you can use anything any rope um, that isn't going to of course you know hurt your snake but you know a cotton rope that or a thick one utilize that use the cable ties they really do secure it to where it won't move at all and so long as it feels sturdy um, they'll use it so keep it low you know bring it down to this level and I'll come back so you can see oh, it's hard to judge but you know it's not very high off the ground you can put more rungs you know this way and that way lower down with your your broom handles put the vines on throw a hammock in there put your snake on it be there with your snake show them that you're there that you're there to help them and once they get a taste of it they're gonna love it so i hope this helps you understand that yes you know i've been able to create this room with this much and Lily's coming down now um, maybe she's seen I've got the camera on um, but you know I've been able to create this because I have carpet pythons that I know love to climb and I've got big snakes so they need a much bigger area but something like this is perfect for a ball python to get exercise on but not only on this inside take it outside you don't want to put your snake down on the ground and a lot of people say oh they could pick up bugs and mites and oh you yawning jack and all sorts of things my snakes never have at all i wouldn't ever say my snakes would get sick from taking them outside in actual fact i think it creates a much healthier snake by doing that so don't forget to take them outside too and let them have a little bit of an explore because that's exercise as well so i don't know if lily's coming down because she may be getting a little bit thirsty guys and wants to go and have a drink which is a possibility with lily hey sweetie you're coming down now she's been up there since six o'clock this morning and it's now and coming up to 12 oh it's actually goodness I can't see sorry 
but it's after 11 o'clock I know that much I know she might be coming down lower might be getting too warm up there and it's just cooler down here I would say that is more the case at the moment because it is so hot here at the moment so um, up high here closer to that roof or ceiling I always call it a roof but ceiling would be getting rather warm so down one level a little bit cooler so guys hope you enjoy hope I've given you some ideas that might help you with your ball pythons but think about it for any other species that you may have they all love to climb to some degree they don't always spend their life on the ground not even a ball python so take care of yourself and your family and your friends and your snakes and yep that's what my little girl's doing just finding it somewhere where it's a little bit cooler than up top you're gonna bring that tail down hey you're just gonna curl up into a little circle aren't you and get comfy take care of your snakes and take care of all your animals ciao